welcome guys um, last time in our last live session we mentioned collocations in English language in English language learning yeah and I saw that a lot of people like this so we are going to talk about collocations today even more um, so please tap the screen a few times to invite more people okay I see you're tapping good thank you and uh, yeah for more people to see it and today we are going to talk about call locations in English it's gonna be a very and very interesting lesson with lots of information and at the end of it I will post um, a resource with all the links with all the resources that you need um, to to learn collocations yeah in English so the first thing yeah let's talk about collocation what is a collocation last time we talked about that right um, last time I asked you to type this word and this word it was new to many of you um, collocation um, think of collocation as a perfect match of two words so it's a pair or, or group of words that are commonly used together in English in a way not not just used but in a way that sounds natural to native speakers I told you last time that it's almost like yeah we can say that it's the same way as native speakers would express something so think of it this way you have an idea you have something to share you have something to say and the way you need to think about this is how would a native speaker approach this kind of situation or this um, kind of phrase how would they say it yeah that's what we are trying to to um, look at today so these are not random combinations but fixed familiar pairs that enhance fluency and comprehension so if you use collocations in your language in your speech your speech will sound natural and um, it will enhance your fluency and comprehension meaning people will understand you better and native speakers of English language will understand you better okay in our next slide we'll see the importance of collocations so uh, why is it important to learn collocations and English through collocations well because this way you boost your fluency and your English sounds natural you know maybe some of you can relate to this yeah that sometimes people don't understand us right sometimes we can't express a certain idea or um, a certain situation well if you learn English through collocations for each and every context and for each and every topic you will find certain collocations and if you use them people will understand you okay tap the screen guys to invite more people to this lesson please keep tapping 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 all right and leave some comments if you um, if you wish yeah now what else is important about collocations why is it important to use collocations um, it enhances comprehension um, people will understand you better if you watch any interview of a native speaker or if you just you know read a book or whatever you will see patterns okay you will see that they use certain phrases certain words and uh, call locations right that is understood by everyone okay so if you just copy that if you learn and you know you learn how to speak like that you will be understood better okay uh, also it says here that knowing common word pairs helps you understand spoken and written English more effectively and what do you think why is that well because I just now said that native speakers use them okay they speak like that so not only you will sound more natural you will you will understand spoken and written English better okay and lastly it expands your vocabulary in a structured and very practical way that's also important you don't just learn all kinds of words a lot of words you learn them in a structured and practical way isn't that good I think it sounds very good uh, put in the comments plus if you think that collocations and learning English through collocations um, is a very effective way so far how does it sound give a plus in the comments if it resonates with you okay um, good and we are moving forward okay we have some more flight more slides today and a lot of resources I will show you where to find these collocations okay and how to learn English 
with collocations, okay? So, some examples of common collocations. Um, let's look at them, and I want you to understand this concept through a puzzle. You can see here two pieces of the puzzle, and they fit together perfectly. That's how you should think about collocations. These are not just random words. These two words, like make a decision here, they collocate. They collocate, meaning they fit together perfectly. So now when you say, I made a decision, everyone will understand you. I made a decision, okay? What do you think? Um, what else can we use with the word decision? What other verbs we can use to, to um, do something with a decision, okay? We can make a decision. What else can be done, okay? Give me a few verbs in the comments that you can use with the word decision. Just try it, okay? What sounds natural in this case? To make a decision? What else? I know one already. I have it in my, in my mind. I just, just remembered one more. Decide. Okay, I see. Uh, Nguyen, right? Uh, thank you for that. But you know, you can't decide a decision. That's, that's not good, right? So there should be something, something else, some other verb that we can use with the word decision, like something, decision, right? And it should sound natural. Try it, guys, you know, just leave a few comments. Um, give me some verbs that you can you think are used with the word decision. Okay? Let's see, okay? If you don't know the answer, tap the screen. Tap the screen to invite more people into the live session, okay? If you don't know the answer. But if you know the answer, please write in the comments. Take a decision. Yes, sometimes we use this, take a decision. But it sounds a little bit, a little bit strange to me. I mean, um, I'm sure you can find this in the dictionary, but it's not that commonly used, okay? So make a decision is much more, uh, much, much more common. It's a popular collocation. I'll give you one answer, one option. Change your decision. How does it sound? I changed my decision. This is a good collocation. That's a collocation, you see? Okay, now. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, let's take one more example here. And again, think of it as a puzzle, okay? These are two pieces of the puzzle that fit perfectly together, all right? And when you use them, it sounds natural. Everyone understands you, okay? And you understand this because you know collocations, all right? Look, do and homework. Again, one more verb and a noun. You see how I'm, how I'm saying a verb and a noun. This is a common pattern verb plus noun common collocation do your homework what else can we do with homework we can do our homework what else can we do give me a few verbs that we can use with the word homework the verb that collocate okay that i use together all right through years i have changed my decision good that's to the previous collocation change my decision good good okay that's what i'm talking about Okay, so what else can we do with homework? Check homework, good job, exactly. Check homework. Teachers can check your homework, right? Absolutely. I will add one more. Give homework. I give homework to my students after every lesson, you see? Good, that's what I'm talking about. These are collocations. Uh, let's see a couple more examples. Good job, guys. Um, heavy rain, for example. It's it's a wrong way uh, to say um, strong rain. We can say strong wind, but strong rain, mm -mm. these two words don't collocate, but heavy and rain, those words do collocate with each other, all right? And so on. Again, think of this as a, um, as a puzzle. Two pieces of the puzzle fit perfectly together. together. That's why I gave you this illustration right here uh, in this slide. Focus on homework. Yes, why not? Focus on your homework. That's also good. Okay, in the next slide, let's look at some patterns, common patterns of um, collocations. As you can see, uh, we can have what? Verb plus noun. And these two were uh, actually verb plus noun. Make a decision. Make, it's a verb. Decision, it's a noun. Verb plus noun, you see? Then, 
um, uh, do your homework. Homework, it's a noun. Do, it's a verb. Verb plus noun, okay? There are some other patterns here. Adverb plus adjective, okay? Uh, verb plus prepositional phrase. Verb plus adverb and adjective plus noun, you see? These are common patterns. Uh, and it says here, yeah, that recognizing these patterns can help you predict and remember collocations. It's so true, guys. Believe me. I am myself a learner of English right now. I am teaching English. That's right. But I learned English myself. And that's my big kind of strength because I know how to do it. And I can share, you know, my methods and my way with you. So not only you will sound natural, but you will understand and recognize and even predict okay predict some things it's true when i pick up a book english book right when i start reading in english honestly it's really easy for me because i almost predict predict uh some things what is predict i understand what's gonna happen next okay that's the word predict i predict what's gonna come next and that's how your intonation improves as well because you know what's gonna come next let's say there is a there is a sentence um, I was thinking about what? About the decision I made. About the decision I made. Because I know make a decision, now this sentence is much easier for me to understand and even predict what's gonna come next. Now, you noticed, guys, yeah, that um, predict like weather. That's right, predicting weather. Um, good, good. You notice, guys, yeah, that I use these terms here. Verb, noun, adjective, adverb, prepositional phrase. Those are difficult. Am I right? Uh, you can put plus in the comments when uh, if if these ver these words sound a little bit complicated, you know, if they do sound complicated, put a plus in the comments and tap the screen if they are complicated a bit, you know. Uh, that's why we have to understand them. Okay, we have to know them and um, know how they work. These these words mean functions of words. Okay, functions. And I have today, I have a very interesting way and very interactive way how to learn and how to practice this, this kind of knowledge in a form of a game, amazing game. So stay tuned, tap the screen. Today, we are going to play the game online, you, you and me, okay? And after this live session, I will um, leave all the resources, all the links to all of these um, uh, resources, right? Uh, I'll leave them in, in the comments, right? So you can download them and you can have them and use them, all right? So it's really important to know all these um, patterns. You can see here more examples of collocation patterns. Uh, for example, you can see here another one, verb plus noun, conduct the research, conduct research, right? That's another, that's another collocation, verb plus noun and so on. But now let's focus more on these functions of words, which are called parts of speech, the importance of parts of speech. Uh, I know that to some of you, this topic might sound a bit difficult or boring. But believe me, guys, this is the secret. This is the secret um, sauce, I would say to learning English, because and to mastering English. Because when you know this basis, these basic knowledge, okay, um, you understand English and you see you see patterns much much easier okay so stay with me believe me by the end of this lesson you will understand um, language on a very different level I'm telling you okay so um, let's see what do we have here about parts of speech parts of speech all of these verbs nouns okay so it is the key to mastering collocations and I told you that learning English through collocations it's a very easy way and very effective way. So to learn English through collocations, we first need to master parts of speech and know exactly what we are talking about. OK, so noun, if the word is a noun, can you give me each of you who's watching this live right now? Give me one noun that you know, any, any noun. OK, please, guys, let your imagination run freely and give me a noun. OK, in the comments. See who can be first. Who's going to be first to give me a noun? A noun, okay? All right. I'm waiting. Give me a noun. 
each person who watches this live, give me one noun and I will read it out loud, okay? Apple, good job, Nubby, thank you. New York, why not? Names of cities, names of countries are nouns. Again, apple, chicken, good job, hi. Bottle, okay, good job. Book, a book, of course, is a noun, that's right. Not only objects, but also names like New York, like your names, guys, you know, that's also a noun. Um, El Salvador, that, that's right, that's a name of a country, if I'm not mistaken, right? Sorry. Television, yes, teacher, good job, guys, thank you. So these are nouns, okay, nouns. We need to know them, okay? We need to understand uh, nouns better, laptop and so on, good job. And from this little kind of uh, topic, nouns, yeah, we understand many more things. Okay, nouns can be what? Countable, uncountable. How do we make plural and singular form of some nouns, yeah? And so on, okay? Now, let's move to verbs, verbs. You know that there are irregular verbs and regular verbs. Give me a few wor verbs. I see bowl as well, some nouns, yeah? More nouns are, are coming. Thank you, guys. Let's stop with nouns and let's, let's type in the comments more verbs, okay? Anything that comes to your mind, something simple, maybe something a bit more advanced, if you know that verb, okay? So, uh, first, first one is to read, watch, listen, sleep, watch, watch, okay, learn, that's right, uh, read, run, cook, sing, go, these are very common ones, love, that's a good one, accomplish, that's a bit more difficult, good job, Nabi. Cook, want, research, correct, good job. Study, need, swim, I like that. Take, think, work, rise, study. You see, guys, you are, you are an amazing audience today. Thank you for your comments. Practice, take, climb. We don't pronounce B, right? Uh, treat, identify, all of them. Very nice, thank you, thank you. Many of you maybe heard today some verbs that you didn't know, right? And that's good, that's good, you're learning. So, um, yes, verbs are important, probably they are maybe the most important, yeah, in, in languages, not only in English, yeah, because when we master verbs, we can we can speak much, much better, right? <laughs> okay, good. And now the last part, let's move to adjectives. Now, what is adjective? Adjectives describe, yeah? Verbs do some action, yeah, they perform some action, but adjectives describe objects, okay? Now, let's try and generate some adjectives, but I'll give you a task, guys. Don't, don't write any adjectives yet, not just yet. Let's take the word house, our noun, yeah? Uh, the word house and describe that word. So please, text in the comments, write in the comments, uh, words, adjectives that describe the word house. What kind of house do you want to have? What kind of house do you have? What kind of house did you see in the movie? All right, or something like that. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. And don't forget to tap the screen to invite more people to watch this nice lesson. I hope you're enjoying it. Okay, so beautiful house. Correct, Dao. Good house. Correct, Emmy. That's right. Convenient house. We could say maybe house has convenient location, why not? Big house, correct. Handsome, maybe. Beautiful, cozy house, that's a good one, good job. Spacious, I love that, that's a good too. Clean, wonderful, okay, okay. What else do we have? Uh, luxury house, yeah, that's a good one too though. Greenhouse, why not? <laughs> It, it's, it's a tricky one because it has a, a secondary meaning, right? So it could be just a greenhouse, the color, but also the place where we grow some plants, yeah? Pretty woman, well, that's not about the house, but yeah, that's a, the same collocation, right? Tiny house, old house, fancy house, correct. Huge house, that's good. Old house, you see very nice collocations, guys. Good job, I mean, you're doing great. Colorful house, why not? It could be some, you know, colorful building and house, yeah? Good, good. Uh, I'm really proud of you. Nice, nice. Uh, handsome is beautiful for boy. That's right. Only for, for, for male. That's right. Humble. Mm, okay. Those are good collocations, good adjectives. So you see, now you now you understand what I'm talking about. White house. Yes. And it has a secondary meaning as well. Yeah. As a, 
governmental building, right? White House, um, Oval Office, yeah? <laughs> Good, um, well done, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that uh, you gave me so many good collocations. Now you understand that it's very important to think like that, you know, through parts of speech and then through collocations. Now, uh, let's move on to our next slide. There will be something amazing. Look, uh, first of all, I'll introduce this table, okay? But I will ask you some something um, very very important, very special. If you are serious about learning, and if you are not just watching this live, I don't know, just to kill time, but you want to learn something, I want you to make your own table, okay? What do I mean by that? I want you to take this table, by the way, I will send this whole presentation after the, this live, uh, it will be on my YouTube, the whole recording will be on, on my YouTube channel, and you can download all of these materials, all right? So I want you to do this. I want you to take this table, okay, learn it, nicely understand it, see all the examples, but also right here on the left side, add the translation of the first column, meaning noun, adjective, adverb, in your own language. Do you see what I, where I'm getting? I want you to understand these words, not just noun. Okay, you understand the word noun, but what do you call this in your language? I'm not going to ask you to type this in the comments because we, we will all be lost. There are so many languages in the world and I'm sure you are coming from very different places and you all speak, you have your own native languages, right? You speak different languages. But for you, just for you to learn this, to really learn this, I want you to translate this the first part, the first column into your own language, okay? I did the same in my native language in Ukrainian and I asked, just yesterday, I asked my student from Georgia to translate it to Georgian language and I ask all of my students to do this. You see, um, if somebody is from my students watching this live, they know that this is my thing. Why? Because this is the basis. You start from here. If you understand all of this, many things will open up, you know, many things will be much clearer, okay? Don't forget to tap the screen and write down your first task. Make a table, okay? Just the, the same table as, as here in the screen, but translate the first column, okay? For example, in Ukrainian, in my own language, the word noun sounds like this, imennik, okay? You don't understand this word, of course, and I will not understand your translation, but believe me, if you do this, okay, I see that some of my students are watching. Good, good. Hello, hello. Hello, Dima. Um, all right, so if you do this, you will um, increase your understanding. You will increase your understanding. Um, you will take it to another level, really. Now, this is the fun part. You are here for, <laughs> we understand. Uh, you're here um, at the right time, um, in the right place. Why? Because we are going to play some game. Now, I will open a really cool game. By the way, the link to this game will be will be uh, sent to you after this live, where you can practice. You can really nicely and in a fun way practice, um, practice knowledge of parts of speech. Let's go. I'll just uh, move to the other to the other window right here okay so this is the game and i'll send you the 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 speed the link later okay here we go uh you just i'll, I'll just click play button here and go all right i hope you can see these all right tell me if you do tell me if you do and we'll play this really cool game to practice the knowledge of parts of speech so here you can select what kind of words you want to get. For now, I'll keep all of them, but later you can tune this game to your needs. If you confuse nouns and adjectives, or adjectives and adverbs, by the way, it's a very common thing, you can then deselect all of them and just leave these two and then practice them, all right? So for now, I'll keep them all selected right there. And I'll just click um, button go and I'll show you how to play and then ask you to help me. So as you can see, my uh, space shuttle, this rocket is adjective. So I need to hit the asteroid that carries adjective. So in this case, it's the word heavy. 
that's it. But if I shoot a uh, wrong word, in this case, I need to shoot a noun, let me shoot in. You see, I can't hit that asteroid. This is a really cool game to practice, uh, practice um, the knowledge of parts of speech. Now let me resolve these uh, four really quickly, and I'll ask you to help me. So noun, noun is a cake. Pronoun, pronoun I. Okay, preposition, in. Preposition, along. Noun, hill. Now help me, pronoun. In the comments, please help me to hit the pronoun. Where should I hit? What should I hit? Who will be first? Pronoun. There might be some lag a bit, but help me. Okay, what's the pronoun? She, that's right. Okay, adverb will be always. Uh, preposition with adverb quietly. Ah, game over. That word read, yeah, or read, that's a verb, yeah, and it didn't, we couldn't hit it. Okay, no worries, that's all right, that's all right. Uh, we are doing okay. Let's play again, and now I will ask you to help me, okay? So, I'll just click go, and here we go. Adverb, adverb. Can you help me hit that adverb? Okay, just type in the comments. Adverb. Where is an adverb here? Is it bright? Is it boldly? Is it had? Or is it nicely? Boldly, that's right. Most of the adverbs end with li. Correct. Good job, guys. Verb. Where is a verb here? Is it walk? Is it bright? Is it nicely? Is it had? Okay. Let me know. Where is the verb here? Had. Correct. Let me hit it very quickly. All right. Adjective adjective where is the adjective here really quickly adjective describes describes some nouns yeah correct it's bright okay adverb adverb nicely and so on okay I'll not I'll not play too much I will send you the link to this game it's a really really nice game to actually improve your knowledge of parts of speech but we have to move forward because there is so much more to learn today, okay? Good. Thank you guys for your comments. Let's continue. There will be something even more interesting, okay? In our presentation, we played the game. That's very good. Now, let me give you some extra task, okay? Let's practice and let's see how well you understood uh, collocations. Now, I know that you don't know that many collocations, maybe, right? but you still have them. I know you have them, okay? I'll give you um, a few a few uh, tasks, right? And then I'll show you where to find these collocations. So the first task would be, let's actually go back to our patterns right here. Can you can you give me uh, can you give me any collocation, any collocation um, that follows this pattern? Adjective plus noun right here. Adjective plus noun. Give me a collocation that follows that pattern. And let's see how you understood this topic. How well you understood this topic. Now let your imagination, you know, run freely, okay? And give me that collocation. Adjective plus noun. I'll wait and see your collocations in the comments and I'll read them aloud, okay? Okay, the first collocation, humble stranger. Okay, humble. It's written with an E at the end, humble, right? Humble stranger, why not? It's a good collocation. Okay, okay, guys, let's keep the energy high in this live session. Tap the screen if you are um, scared to write that collocation or if you don't know any. Tap the screen to invite more people. And if you are... Um, brave enough to write a collocation, please leave a collocation in the comments that follows these pattern. Uh, adjective plus noun. And I'll read aloud. Excited about. Well, excited about, it's a good collocation, but it's not the same pattern, uh, Shayla, okay? It's an, what? It's an adjective and a preposition. About is a preposition, you see? A disgusting insult. Good job. Jurassica. All right. Beautiful girl. Why not? Okay. 
That's a good collocation. Beautiful girl, handsome boy, okay? Um, high building, even high rise building also a good one. Okan, thank you. Cute dog, yeah. Cold weather, nice. You don't have to say sorry, Shayla. It's 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 good. You're practicing. Pretty house, pretty house. Yeah, they have this family has a pretty house. Why not? Excellent teacher. I would love to be that kind of teacher. I do something every day to become one. Okay. Uh, busy traffic. That's a good one too. Traffic is a noun and uh, busy is an adjective. Good guys, you um, understood this lesson very well. Thank you. Um, Okay, uh, we will have some some Q and A session at the end, just for you to ask some questions about this lesson. But for now, let's move to our next slide and see what we have there. And there is something interesting and important. So, where to find these collocations? You see, I mean, I see that you guys know a lot of them, okay? But um, some of them, as I see, might not be so natural. So you might think that these are you know, perfectly, perfectly fitting words. Um, for example, Larry said, ridiculous, ridiculously expensive, right? Ridiculously, we need an adverb to describe one more adjective. This collocation is good, ridiculously expensive. Why not? It sounds very natural, but where to check? And that's what I asked my teachers when I was learning English. I said, hey, guys, is there some resource to check what collocations or what words collocate with each other, what words can be used together, all right? And uh, my teachers, you know, they shrugged. They didn't know where to find this, really, okay? So I started digging and I found some resources. And let me show you those resources. Well, of course, there are printed, printed books. And what you want to um, find is collocations dictionary, okay? You know what dictionary is. You find all kinds of words there, right? All words. But collocations dictionary shows you which word are frequently used together. Now, of course, we have these, these dictionaries online. And one of them is um, Oxford dictionary, okay? This dictionary is not free. But wait a second, I have a free resource as well. So the first one um, is um, from, I guess, yeah, from Oxford Oxford Press, yeah. Oxford Collocations Dictionary, one year's access is 10 pounds, okay? Yeah, that's, you know, some price to pay, plus sales tax, you probably will pay more. Um, I had this access for maybe two or three years and I've been using it, all right? But right now I also found one more resource, which is free. Somebody simply copied these, this, this uh, dictionary, probably it's um, pirate version of it, pirate version of this dictionary, but it's out there and people are using it. So why not to use it? Okay, let me show you. Um, and we'll see actually how to uh, work with this collocations. Look, this is the this is the other version of the same dictionary, exactly the same guys, it's really the same dictionary, I checked it, I had the paid version, and I found this free version. So now we can find some good things here. As you can see, online Oxford collocation dictionary, what how to use it, how to use this uh, dictionary, you just have to type a word here. It's going to be a word that you want to find collocations for. And you already can see here, look, um, adjectives. So the, the, the word here is house, it's a noun, it says here it's a noun, right? And um, all of these are adjectives you can use with the word house, which is amazing, right? Now, all of your ideas can be checked here. Now, are these all adjectives that we can use with the word house? No, not all adjectives, but very common ones. Believe me, if you use any adjectives, from this list with the word house, native speakers will clearly understand what you're saying. If you say four bedroomed house, they will understand you. And that's the power of collocations. And if, if you learn English through collocations and you hear a native speaker, let's say my American friend John saying four bedroom house, four bedroomed house, I will clearly understand what he's saying because I know these collocations, you see? Greetings from Kazakhstan. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings from Georgia. Back at you. 
uh, <laughs> okay now what else what else is here um, so these are all adjectives as, as you can see it's also interesting um, you may you may notice here this kind of symbols this symbol means that this is the end of the same um, quality if we talk about adjectives look all of these adjectives describe the beauty of that house so when you say pretty somebody actually wrote in the comments yeah pretty pretty house good correct um, what else luxury right luxurious luxurious house um, comfortable I think or convenient somebody wrote yeah beautiful so these uh, these um, adjectives describe how beautiful something is you see okay uh, then we have another pattern here verb plus house what can you do with the word house now it's important here uh, pay attention close because this moment is confusing and tap the screen a few times just to invite some more people because this is a critical part right here you may see here verb plus house right here yeah and then house plus verb so what's the difference look verb plus house and house plus verb this is nice very very nice look in this section you will see all of the collocations all of the verbs that you can use with the word house basically what you can do with the house obviously the first thing right the first thing that comes into your mind is what build a house live in the house what else sell a house I'm not even looking at this right I'm just just trying to generate some collocations here what else maybe sell a house or rent a house right exactly and you will see here live in occupy share house with examples that's amazing right with examples but this section it's actually what house plus verb what a house can do what a house can do now what can it what can it do right the house can stand and let's read the uh, example sentence here the house stood on a short distance from the wood from the forest you see okay so in this case we we create collocations when the object the house performs something does something and that's amazing so now this is really important uh, remember the difference between these two sections you see when you have verb plus house you do something with that house and then house plus verb the house does something okay S exactly so Dao as you can see in the comments look at look at his his comments Dao um, I hope I pronounce I'm pronouncing your name correctly he wrote two verbs paint this is this example right here to paint the house and then collapse exactly house collapsed you see how can you get this dictionary in um, the in, in the uh, description section to this video after I upload it to YouTube there will be a link where you get a PDF with everything with the presentation and with all of the resources okay I will send you everything so after this live session maybe tomorrow I will upload it tomorrow go to my YouTube channel and find there all of these resources I will give you everything I mean it's all free out there you know so of course why not okay guys now um, sure you're welcome um, now what what else do we see here there are also phrases right here these are some common phrases and prepositions that you can use with the word house okay now that's basically it about about um, resources okay let's move to our um, to our presentation right here so um, this is the last slide and it actually says that I will post this recording on my YouTube and include all the links okay um, what else to mention here I guess the only the only thing is that uh, collocations are uh, very important in English learning right um, you may actually try to learn English through collocations only okay and pay attention to it remember your task what is your task the first task is the table go back when you get this presentation go back to this table copy this table and here add your own column with the translation translate this to your own language so that you understand them better okay um, that's very important then play the game the game we played with you the asteroids game 
the parts of speech game this way you will deeper like more deeply understand the the knowledge the essence of parts of speech what they do what are the functions of these words okay start using collocations dictionary that's very important you will get the link you will get the link after this video um, just go to my youtube channel uh, sanchez is asking what's the name of your youtube channel it's english with vlad my name is vlad eng with vlad if you type the name that is on TikTok. If you type it on YouTube, you will find me, okay? Um, I, I'm honest with you, all of these resources will be available right there. So don't think that uh, you will not find these resources. All of them will be there, including this presentation. I mean, um, it's gonna be right there. Now, what else I wanted to mention? Um, on TikTok, you have many more resources to use. There are videos to watch there are effects to to use for english learning if you are preparing for ielts uh, test yeah you can practice your speaking with my effects just go to effects section then go to serious and see some of my little mini courses because if you have a problem with irregular verbs you can find them there if you have a problem with um, pronunciation or ielts preparation or maybe job preparation maybe you need to prepare for a job interview go to um, serious section on TikTok and find those mini courses there. All right. That's what I want you to do. Um, yeah. So on my YouTube channel, just go ahead to YouTube uh, on YouTube and type ENG with Vlad. Find me there. This recording will be posted uh, soon tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow in the morning, I'll post it. And there in the description, you will find all of the resources. Now, if you enjoyed this, let me know. And now maybe you have some uh, questions. If you have those questions, please type them in the comments and I'll try to answer them right now. I'll take from three to five questions and I'll answer them right now. So if you have any questions related to English learning um, and you want to know something, um, just ask in the comments. And I'll try to answer. Let's go. So the first one, um, the name of my channel is ENG with Vlad. Uh, you will find all of the resources in the section, uh, in the description section on YouTube under this video. Okay. All the resources will be there. Just one click. You will get them all. All right. Um, I don't know exactly when I'm going to go live next time, but it's going to be soon. Um, I'm a busy teacher. I teach a lot of lessons and I still don't know if I can go live um, every day or every week. So I'm still figuring out my schedule. I will let you know all of you guys. It will be posted somewhere on TikTok here or on YouTube as well when I'm going to go live next time. And maybe I will develop a permanent schedule. Okay. When I'm just going, let's say live, I go live every Friday let's say in the evening and I'll post the time. Okay. Um, now, anything related to English learning, I will answer. Let's go for one more. Okay. One more, or two more questions. I teach, I've been teaching English for the last seven years. And I kind of have a lot of experience. So if you have any problems, if, if you have any, you know, reservations, just let me know here and I will try to answer um, three times a week. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Wow. It's Nicole. Hello, Nicole. I mean, I actually mentioned you um, in my previous live. This is my student who achieved a lot with her improvement in English. And that's amazing. That's what I do it for. You know, uh, I do it uh, with my students so that through English, they can improve their lives. Okay that's important. Either it's passing an interview successfully, IELTS test successfully, right? Uh, anything you, you think of, whatever English can help you with, right? That's what we are doing here. Um, could you do a class on verb tenses? Yeah, why not? One of the classes can be that. I mean, I'll try to do it again in some more of an interesting way because you will find this information on YouTube, but it's important to to what to explain it in a way that you not only understand, but also start using it and start um, applying it in real life, right? 
that's important that's a very important thing right okay any any um, other questions okay um, yes I will I will um, include the time okay the time zones and everything I have a really cool idea um, I will actually give you the times right in kind of your time zones in most common countries right I mean last time you texted where are you from okay where you're watching this live from so I'll choose 10 most common most commonly mentioned countries and I will post the time when I go live in your time okay so right now after we are actually done with all the question all of the questions can you please let me know what is the country you are watching this live from okay what are, what is the country you are watching this live session from so that I know what is the m like more convenient time for me to go live so you can watch it you see please in the comments mention where are you coming from okay Georgia Kamarjoba um, Panama Morocco Peru Germany Germany all right Uganda Colombia Lebanon from London as well from Kingdom of Bhutan Guatemala Georgia Turkey as well good this way we are also reviewing repeating how to pronounce the country's names okay very nice UAE that's an abbreviation good um, welcome welcome Lithuania Azerbaijan Libya Somalia so many countries guys Mexico amazing isn't that cool I mean you're watching from every corner of the world that's amazing it gives me a, a lot of inspiration to continue this work and to understand that I can help many of you to imp actually improve your English Kurdistan Iraq Iraq all right mm, Ukraine welcome Ukraine welcome um, small country okay I see good good guys um, very nice very nice thank you for all of your comments okay um, thanks for being so active all right um, you are welcomed here from every part of the world you know um, and uh, I'll be very happy to give you more information so thank you so much for for your comments today for everything you've uh, contributed to this life because without you this life wouldn't happen right I mean I could be here alone just talking to myself but without you it would not happen all right um, thanks a lot for um, coming into this live and I'll see you soon I'll see you soon good luck guys and uh, let me end this live